Hi, you guys. I hope you are doing well and have had a fantastic day so far. So it is almost time to start yoga. I figured I'd jump on just a, a minute or so early, allow you guys to get set up and share some exciting news. I created a tank top with the Catching Waves yoga logo on it. Um, yeah, and it's available. So there are links in the group if you are willing to get your own little tank top and support me and support this brand and wear it next time you do yoga. Well, once the order goes through and then you actually get the shirt. But super excited about it. It's a really cute design. I really enjoyed actually creating it. You guys can tell I clearly have too much time on my hands right now uh, with not being in my classroom. So yoga has been, it's really been awesome to actually like finally make this dream of having my own little yoga business in whatever realm it is right now, uh, at least getting it up and started off the ground. So again, I will, there's links in the group. I'll have links below my video once it uh, goes up onto YouTube so that way you guys can hopefully get your own little Catching Waves yoga tank top as well. Otherwise, if you are just joining, there's Lenny, our co-host, go ahead and come on down to the floor, get in a nice comfortable seat with your legs crossed, sit up nice and tall, take a drink of your water or whatever you've got, maybe you've got some wine next to you. I promise this is water, not wine, or for that, a bottle of vodka. That would be really intense for yoga, you guys. Holy cow. So, anyways, sorry. I've got way too much excitement for the day, and I hope that comes through in our session. So with that, you guys just go ahead and come into a nice comfortable seat. Sit up nice and tall. Go ahead and close your eyes and bring your arms and hands into your lap in just a nice comfortable position. Take a big inhale and lift those shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, drop them back and down your spine. Make sure we're not rounding in our chest at all. Sit up nice and tall through your spine. And just focus on that breath. Notice how it feels as it enters into your body. That cool sensation as it hits your nostrils. Warm sensation as it leaves. And just notice what parts of your body are moving as you breathe. Big inhale in. And out. Maybe you're noticing just your chest is moving. And I like to call that our stress breath, right? Even if you don't necessarily feel stressed, we are in such a time that we're not necessarily taught how to sit and how to stand and have best posture in order to use the appropriate muscles, AKA our diaphragm, right? So if you're breathing through your chest, you're tightening your upper body, you're stressing through the neck, you're adding that tension into your shoulders, into your traps, and shortening your breath, which means less oxygen into the blood, into the body, and that's no good. So with that next inhale, I want you to feel your entire upper body expand, inhaling, feeling all sides press away from you. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, fill your whole body up just like we did. Exhale, pull your belly button into your spine this time. Force that air out. Inhale. Exhale. One more, just like that. In and out. Great job. Just focus on our breath for a couple moments longer, allowing that overexcited energy to just kind of dissipate, allowing yourself to be here, be grounded, be present through our practice tonight. Just allow that breath to work through your body, through your muscles, through your blood, through every single cell in your body. And just relax a little bit more. Let my voice guide you as you slowly start to feel yourself becoming a little more calm feeling the weight of your body pressing into your mat. And just focusing on that breath. And 
And when you notice your mind starts to wander, just don't call too much attention to those thoughts. But let them pass by and then just refocus on that breath. And sometimes it can help by counting our breath. One on the inhale, two on the exhale, three, four, and you keep that going. It's always a great alternative to redirect your attention through counting that breath taking your attention away from those thoughts that are just really plaguing your mind. And we don't need them right now. We need to just be here and be present. So with that, take one more really big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it out. Great, you can keep your eyes closed or open if you wanna just follow my voice. Otherwise, inhale, sweep your arms all the way up to the sky. And exhale, float them down to your side. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale. If your eyes are closed, you can keep them closed. Just get a movement with your head. Moving your head as if you're looking to the sky when you lift your arms with that inhale. And then looking towards the ground figuratively as we lower our arms. Inhale. Exhale. Great, inhale, sit up nice and tall. Bring your arms out in front of you, palms together. Send your energy through that screen right into my little soul and I will send you some back. Hope you felt it. Take a big inhale in. Exhale, draw that right arm across your body. Open it to that back wall. Inhaling in and out. Look over that right shoulder. Notice where you're holding in tension. Maybe you're holding it in your thighs right now. Just give them a little shake, let them go. Inhale, bring that right hand forward. Exhale, send that left hand back to the back wall. Look over that left shoulder. Focus on that breath. Notice where you're holding in tension and just let it go. Inhale, bring that hand back in front. And exhale, bring your hands down to your side. Inhale, lift those shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, drop them back and down your spine. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale. Great. Bring your elbows right into your waist right now. The goal is to keep them as close to the body as we can. Inevitably, they're probably going to pull away, and that's okay, but just try your best. So bring your hands out in front of you, open your palms up to the ceiling, and with that inhale, I want you to pull your thumbs to the back wall, keeping your elbows into your side. You might have more range of motion than I do right now. I have a lot of shoulder stuff, so I figured I couldn't take mine back very far. Holding it here, and with an exhale, release your hands forward. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, make sure you're sitting up tall. Exhale, bring them back. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Keep it going. This is a really great move for anyone that has shoulder pain at all. It's really just working on those very local muscles, expanding, contracting. It's very much a physical therapy move, which is pretty great. Anytime we can incorporate anything that's going to be rehabilitative, I think that's the word I need. I'm probably wrong. I'm terrible with words, but you get what I'm saying. Anytime we can incorporate it, it's only going to be better for us. Inhale, bring your hands forward. Open your arms up. So lift them up like you're creating the letter W right now. So inhale, bring your hands together, palm together, elbow together. Exhale, open up. Feel your shoulder blades coming into the center of your spine as you pull Pull your hands towards that back wall. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale, exhale. Keep it going. Get out all of our snap crackles and pops in our joints right now, right you guys? <laughs> One more, opening it up and exhale, closing. Go ahead and bring your hands down to your legs right now catching the bottom side of your knees. As we inhale, we're gonna press our chest forward. Just send your gaze forward. Don't crane your, crank your neck backwards. We don't wanna 
pinch any of those nerves in your neck. So inhale, come forward with the chest. Exhale, draw your spine to the back wall, tuck your chin into your chest, curl your tailbone under as if you're trying to make it go to the ceiling. Inhale, forward. Exhale, round through the back. Inhale. Exhale. And do two more. Last one. Great. Inhale all the way back up to center. We're going to come onto all fours. Bringing your knees right under your hips and your wrists directly underneath of your shoulders into our tabletop position here. You can play around with having your toes curled under or keeping them flat onto the ground. Totally up to you. You'll find what's going to be comfortable for your body. Take a big inhale and nice flat back here. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, drop that belly down, send your hips to the sky, look forward again, don't crank your neck back though. Exhale, pull that belly button all the way to the ceiling, tuck your chin into your chest, tuck your tailbone under. Inhale, lengthen, drop that belly. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale. Keep it going. Two more. Last one. Great job. Come back into our neutral tabletop position here. I want you to drop your elbows down right where your palms were. And go ahead and walk your knees back several inches. Inhale, send your hips all the way up to the sky. Allow your arms to move wider on the mat if you need to as you bring your forehead down to the ground. We don't want to feel any compression in your shoulders, nothing that's causing pain. So if this is not comfortable for you, go right into a child's pose where you take your hips to your heels. Inhaling in and out. Pull that belly button into your spine as you exhale. Inhale, loop those shoulders back and down your spine, creating space. Exhale. If you need an even deeper stretch, send your gaze towards your fingertips, releasing your chest even closer to the ground here. One more big inhale in and out. Inhale, come back into our tabletop position as gracefully as we possibly can. <laughs> Open your knees as wide as your mat. Bring your big toes in a touch. And we're going to plant that right hand directly under your nose here. Inhale, glide that left hand across your body. Open it up to the sky. Give me a big smile. Because you know you're feeling pretty dang good. Go ahead and tuck that tailbone under. If you have any shoulder issues, you can drop that hand down to your hip and just pull that shoulder blade to the back wall. If your neck hurts, find where it's comfortable. I give you guys all these modifications because yoga is something that is not perfect, right? We're not here for an audition. We're here to improve ourselves, whether it's your physical self, whether it is your mental self, whatever it might be for you. So just because I'm doing something doesn't mean you have to. Right? These are my suggestions. Think of it in that way. Big inhale in. Exhale. Tap that hand down to the right. Inhale. Open it back up. Exhale. Tap. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to plant that palm down this time. Switching hands. Inhale. Open that right arm to the ceiling this time. Tuck that tailbone under. Make sure we're pressing away from that left hand here. Inhaling in and out. Feel your side body really expanding with that breath. Big inhale at the top. Exhale, tap it down. Inhale, open. Exhale. In. Out. In. Out. One more. All the way up. And exhale, bringing it down, coming into our tabletop position. I want you to go ahead and curl your toes under and just slow and steady. We're going to send our hips to the sky, pulling our chest towards our thighs, downward dog. It's okay if you have a nice bend in your knees here and your heels are not touching the ground. In time, you'll be able to get there. For now, just focus on pulling your chest towards your thighs, bringing your ears right between your biceps, keeping even weight between all 10 fingers. Inhaling in. And out. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees, 
and I want you to step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Allow your upper body to release over your lower body into a forward fold. Give me a nice bend in your knees here, opening up through that low back, and just let your head tuck all the way down. Release that tension through your neck. Inhaling in and out. Focus on that breath here. Inhale, glide your hands all the way up to your thighs, straightening your legs, straightening your upper body, sending your gaze out in front of your nose. Big inhale and exhale, folding over. Inhale, glide those hands up, halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look forward, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slow and steady. We're gonna roll all the way up to standing. Straightening through your legs, tucking that tailbone under, rolling through your low back, mid back, upper back. Loop those shoulders up, back and down, lengthen through your neck and through the crown of your head. Open your palms to the wall in front here and go ahead and close your eyes. Take a big inhale in and out. Release those shoulders down away from your ears. Notice if again you're falling back into that stress breath. Inhale, expand through all sides of your body. Exhale, let it go. One more breath here. Great, inhale, bend your knees, drop your hands down, draw me a big circle as you stand all the way up, slight back bend at the top. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and plant your palms down. Step one foot back, and then the other around your pets. <laughs> Shift yourself into plank. You can always come down onto your knees if you need to. Take a big inhale in. And as we exhale, keep your elbows into your side as you slowly lower all the way down to the mat. Moving through our first vinyasa. Uncurl those toes. Inhale, press through your hands. Lengthen that upper body away from the mat. And as we exhale, open those knees as wide as your mat. Send your hips to your heels into child's pose. Bring your forehead all the way down. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. One more just like that. In and out. Great, just let your breath come in and out through the nose. Take this moment to surrender, allowing your body to be still, maintaining control of your breath, your mind, and just being present. Close your eyes if you haven't already. Bring a smile, a giant smile, onto your lips. And I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. Next inhale, find your flow first all the way up into our tabletop position and then all the way up into downward facing dog. Nice steady movements, connect the motions to your breath always. Inhaling in and out. You can bend one knee while you plant the opposite heel and rotate as we pedal through our feet here, getting a little extra stretch through the back side of our legs. Inhaling in, coming back into center, just in the stillness. 
in as you exhale, look forward, bend your knees, step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. You can bring your hands to the back sides of your legs, just pulling your elbows towards that back wall, tucking your chin into your chest. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle, all the way up. Palms together, slight back bend here. Exhale, bring your hands right to your heart. Inhaling in, and out. And with that next inhale, go ahead and step to the center of your mat and open your legs as comfortably, as wide as you would like to. I'd like to stay as wide as you can, but I don't wanna go there, that might hurt. <laughs> Take a big inhale, sweep those arms up and overhead. Exhale, forward fold, slow and controlled. Bring a slight bend into your knees, tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen it up, holding it here. Bring the left fingertips underneath of your nose. And with that next inhale, glide your right hand open to the ceiling. You can look up to the side or keep your gaze down on the ground for a little more stability. Find what's comfortable for you here. Focus on that breath. Really pull that shoulder blade to the back wall. Big inhale in. And as you exhale, bring that right hand down. We're gonna send that left arm up to the sky. You can always have a slight bend in your knees if you need to. Nothing should ever feel painful or that it's too much of a strain that you can't handle. Inhaling in and out. One more big breath here. Exhale, bring that hand down, forward fold. You can keep your hands out in front or you can glide them through your legs, allowing yourself to come a little deeper into this fold. Focus on your breath here. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Holding it here, bring your hands right under your hips, bend those knees, slow and controlled. Stand all the way up. Turn your toes to the right side of your mat. We're gonna come onto the ball of that back foot. Inhale, shift your weight forward, getting a nice bend in that front leg here, keeping your knee directly over that ankle. Inhale, sweep those arms up or bring them to your side, pulling those shoulders back. Focus on your breath here. Inhaling in and out. Inhale. We're gonna open our arms as wide as our mat and at the same time, twist that back heel down, planting it on the floor. Don't lift up in that front leg though, keep it nice and low. Inhaling in, look over your front fingertips here. Pull your pinkies to the back wall, bringing those shoulder blades in closer to your spine. Inhaling in and out. Inhale, lengthen through that front leg, Bump your left hip to that back wall. Drop your right arm down. Send your left arm to the sky. Choose where you'd like your head to be positioned. Really press your feet into the ground. Feel yourself shifting a little bit. That's how we gain that muscle control, right? We have to have a, a little bit of a stumble to become better. Ooh, what a life metaphor right there. You fail, you succeed. You fail again, you succeed a little bit more. Yeah. That's pretty much what I teach my students all the time. It's art class. So again, you can keep your hand right at your shin, drop it down towards the mat, whatever is comfortable for you. Focus on that breath, big inhale in. And as you exhale, we're gonna bend in that front leg, bring both of your hands forward, plant those palms, step that right foot back, and move through our vinyasa. Inhaling into plank, exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, lifting into up dog. And exhale, send it back into child's pose. You guys have earned it. Bring that forehead all the way down. Close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. 
Exhale, let it go. One more just like that. In, out. Great. Just let your breath come to a nice normal rhythm. In and out through your nose. Feel yourself surrendering here. Letting your energy sink right into the mat. Close your eyes if you haven't already. Bring a giant smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today, but this time be a little more specific. next inhale find your flow all the way up into downward facing dog pulling your chest towards your thighs here bringing your ears right between your biceps looping those shoulders back and down your spine inhaling in and out and take a moment drop your hips to one side of the mat and then the other feeling a nice stretch through your side body Inhale back to center. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees. Step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle all the way up. Exhale, bring your palms together right at your heart. Close your eyes, we'll take a breath there. Inhale, step to the center of your mat. Open your legs as wide as you'd like. <laughs> take a big inhale in, fix all your clothes in the process and sweep those arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Holding it here, walk that left hand towards your right toes. Pull your right hand to the sky. Exhale, bring your right hand to the left foot. Open that left hand to the sky. Get a nice fluid motion as we go from one side to the other. Nothing straining, nothing hurting. Just feeling the fluidity of your body. It's almost like a dance. Keep it going, connecting to your breath. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you go down and across. One more, each side. And then come back to center, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Bend those knees, bring your hands right on your hips. Slowly come all the way up. We're gonna turn our feet to the left side of our mat this time, coming onto the ball of that back foot. Inhale, shift your right forward, getting a nice bend in that front leg. Sweep those arms up to the sky. Focus on your breath here. Inhaling in. And out. You can lengthen through your spine, get a slight back bend here. And with that exhale, one fluid motion. Plant that heel, open your arms as wide as your mat. Look over your left fingertips this time. Inhaling in. And exhale, pulling your pinkies to the back wall. Focus on your breath. 
Big inhale. And exhale. One more just like that. In and out. Great. Inhale. Lengthen through that front leg. Bump your hips to the back wall. Release that front arm down. Back arm all the way to the sky. Again, it can be right here at your shin, down towards your ankle, all the way to the mat. Find what's comfortable for your body and don't overdo it. The whispers now, you do not want them to be screams later. I promise you that. Focus on your breath here. Big inhale in and out. Pull that top shoulder to the back wall. One more big inhale. And with that exhale, slowly twist towards the front of your mat. Bring your palms down. Plant those palms all the way down. Step that left foot back. Inhale, shifting into plank. And exhale, move through your vinyasa. And send it all the way back into child's pose. Bring your forehead all the way down. Close your eyes and just surrender. You can pull your hands right underneath of your shoulders here and just allow the weight of your upper body to just come forward here as we completely release into our mat. Just focus on that breath as it comes in and out of your nose. And bring a smile, a giant smile, onto your lips. And I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for from today. next inhale if your hands are not under your shoulders bring them there now and press yourself away from your mat just coming back onto your heels here into a tall kneeling position again fixing all of our clothes you guys look how are they moving <laughs> sit up nice and tall take a big inhale in exhale let it go Release those shoulders down. You can close your eyes. Inhale, press your chin towards that back wall. You can use your hand or you can just glide your head. Bring those ears right over your shoulders. Again, sitting up nice and tall. Big inhale. And exhale. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Curl your toes under. Slow and controlled. Release your body weight back on toward to your heels. Just be very careful, our feet are sensitive. You don't wanna to put too much pressure that you can't handle. You can always lift up out of them, taking that pressure out just a little bit more. Again, sitting up nice and tall. You can bring your hands right under your thighs. Take a big inhale in. And out. Inhale, lift those arms. Lengthen through your upper body. Press your hips forward here. Exhale, slow and control. We don't want to hurt our knees. Release your hands down. Bring your hips back to your heels. Inhale, lengthening, lifting all the way up. Exhale, slow and control. Lower it down. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Exhale, release. Great. Go ahead and release your legs to one side or the other, coming all the way down into a seat. You can extend your legs out in front of you. <laughs> Fix those pesky clothes again. <laughs> 
Take a big inhale and plant those palms right at your hips. Sit up nice and tall. Loop those shoulders back and down your spine. Take a big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, lift those arms all the way up. Exhale, fold over your legs here. Catching where it's comfortable. If that's just your shins, awesome. Your ankles, great job. If you can get to your feet, doesn't mean you're better than anyone else. It just means you got a little more practice. So everyone, find what's comfortable for you. Take a big inhale in. And as you exhale, release your chest a little closer to your legs. Release your head down. Tuck your chin into your chest. Just breathe. Inhale, slowly roll all the way up in your upper body. I want you to plant the bottoms of your feet down on your mat. Inhale, shift your body weight forward, getting nice and tall in your spine. Open your hands to the wall in front of you, palms open to the ceiling. Take a big inhale in. Exhale, loop those shoulders back and down your spine, keeping your chest lifted. Inhale, exhale, sink it back until you can feel your abs engaged. You're welcome and I'm sorry, but really, you're welcome. Take a big inhale in. Exhale, sink it back a little more. Now, we don't want to round forward at all, so if you start rounding, lift it back up. Find your breaking point. Hold it there. And if you need an extra challenge, you can lift one leg, and then the other, balancing on that tailbone. If you notice yourself rounding, come a little straighter, pull those thighs into your legs here. Point your toes. Inhaling in and out. If you need an extra little push, try to straighten your legs, pointing them to the sky here. Inhaling in, exhale, release an inch. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, release. Inhale, exhale. One more time, all the way up. Exhale, slow and controlled. No flapping, all the way down. Slow and controlled. Release those arms up and overhead. Get a big stretch here. And as you exhale, bring your hands towards your hips. Pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little tug. Lifting that tailbone off the floor. Inhaling in. And out. Holding it for one breath here in the center. You can rotate through your ankles one way and then the other. Really getting out those snap, crackles, and pops. <laughs> I'm finding myself rather funny today, you guys. It's because I haven't been in my classroom to tell all these terrible jokes to my students. So, you get them. Take one more big inhale in. Exhale, plant the bottoms of your feet down. Walk them in closer to your hips. Bring your hands down to the floor, right at your hips. And as you inhale, we're going to lift our hips to the sky, coming into our bridge pose. Inhaling in, and exhale, sink it down. Inhale, lifting, see if you can press a little higher here. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lifting, we're gonna hold it at the top. You can stay right here, pressing your heels into the floor, or you can walk your hands underneath the low back, interlace your fingers, and snuggle your shoulder blades together underneath of your chest, pulling your palms towards the ground, pressing your hips even higher. Big inhale in. Exhale, release. One more big inhale. Exhale, release your arms, and then lower your hips all the way down. Pull your knees into your chest. Catch them with your hands. Give them a little tug. Right, holding it here, right in the center. Take a big inhale in. And out. I want you to turn the bottoms of your feet together and release them to the center of your mat. Bring your hands right at your hip creases. Take a big inhale in. And as you exhale, press firmly right into the tops of your thighs. Feel an opening in your low back, a little traction in here. Inhale, release. Exhale, 
exhale, press. Inhale. Exhale. One more, just like that. In and out. Great job. Take your hands to the outside edges of your thighs. Bring your knees together right in the center. Open your feet as wide as your mat, keeping your knees tucked in close to the center line. Inhaling in. Exhale. Release your legs over to the right side of your mat. Inhale all the way up to center. Exhale. Send them to the left side. Keep it going. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. In. Out. In. Holding it here. Just take a breath. Inhaling in. Exhale. Release that left leg down. And then you're right. You can bring your hands onto your body or down onto the floor, opening your hands up towards the ceiling. Go ahead and close your eyes as we move into our Savasana, final resting pose. Let's take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, all the love in. Exhale, send it to every human in this planet. One more, just like that. In and out. And just focus on your breath as we lie here being still, being present, just breathing. that next inhale, go ahead and wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingertips, pat your eyelashes, open and closed a few times. And when you're ready, roll onto your side facing me, use your arm as a pillow, and we'll take a breath there. Inhaling in, and out. Inhale, press yourself away from the floor, coming into a comfortable cross-legged position, eyes closed, hands in your lap, sitting up nice and tall. Take a big inhale in through the nose, and out. Bring your palms together all the way up to your forehead, inhaling in, and out. Be kind in your thoughts yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Inhaling in. And out. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Just breathe. Bring your hands down to your heart center. Take a big inhale in. And out. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. One more big inhale in, and exhale, bowing forward. Namaste.
Thank you guys so much for joining tonight. It is always a pleasure to uh, join you here in this digital space. I'm really glad that I have the ability to offer this to you guys. Um, if you guys are inspired, you can always leave a donation. Or better yet, you can go get that tank top that I was telling you guys about. And I'm seriously so excited for you guys. It is just a beautiful design. Um, and I really just can't wait for them to get here. Um, so again, I look forward to our next session. So I would love for you to join. It will be on, what day is today? Thursday, it'll be on Saturday morning. Um, and if you miss me there, you can always find me on my YouTube channel, you guys. I know things are like really coming together. Um, so again, I would love for you guys to subscribe there too. It feels so funny saying that, like I'm a YouTuber or something. But anyways, always a pleasure. And I look forward to our next session. Bye.